At the time I'm recording this video, Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra are not out yet. They should be out in about a week or so, but I know first when you get your shiny, fancy, new, expensive phone, you do wanna protect it by putting out a case on it. At least most people do. Here I have 40 different cases for S21, 21 Plus, and Ultra that we're gonna open them up and take them out together. And by the way, my name is Sean. If this is the first time you're stopping by and you enjoy tech content like this, you might wanna hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you won't miss my future videos. And by the way, this is a very special video. I have a special guest that I'm about to introduce to you guys who's gonna help me um, with the introduction of this video and we're gonna have a short conversation and get it to the unboxing. So Senator Sanders, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So Senator, when I do a case review, typically I use the actual phone or in a case when I'm doing a pre-release and the phone is not out yet, I typically use these dummy units. But the dilemma I have right now is, obviously the phone is not out yet and the dummy units are all on back order. I was not able to get my hands on one and I keep pushing this video back, but the phone is about to come out and I really think people need my help so they can see the case choice options that are available so when they get their phone, when it comes out, they know they can get a nice case based on my video review. And let me be very frank, not everybody will agree with me, but you raise an important point and I hope the American people understand it because this is something I worry about. But Senator Sanders, with all the respect, Samsung just announced today that they're anticipating to sell about 26 million uh, of these phones in the first uh, half of the year. And I really think that a lot of people gotta be getting these phones and I want them to have good options and be able to select the right case for the phone. You still don't think it's a good idea to try to go ahead and do this case review without having the phone or the dummy units? Trust me, it is not. I really appreciate your input, Senator Sanders, but with all due respect, I still think I need to go ahead and do this case review. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started so this video won't turn into an hour long show. All right, folks, I'm gonna pull the camera up so we can do a close up shot of all the unboxing and review of these cases. Again, I will have a timestamp and affiliate link for all these cases down in the description below. If you haven't had a chance to like this video, please do so before you forget. So let's get started. Like I said, I have 40 cases. I'm gonna open them up based on the size. So uh, if you guys wanna follow uh, the timeline down in the description or put it somewhere on the screen, you guys can skip back and forth to get to the size you're looking for. But before we jump into that, don't forget about the giveaway. If this video will do well, I will give away an Amazon gift card. And if you would like to participate in that, you just need to like this video, send me a DM on my Instagram account and just say Galaxy S21. I know you want to enter the drawing for this video. And down here, just drop a comment. Let me know um, that you would like to enter the drawing. So let's get started with the S21. I'm gonna start uh, with these cases that were sent to me for free. First one is by a company called Clayco. And fun fact, I shot this entire video uh, earlier today. I realized I forgot to turn on my microphone, so I had to put everything back in the cases. So I'm gonna pretend it's the first time I'm seeing all these cases. Here we go. This is the Xenon by Clayco. Again, link to all these products down in the description below. So this is kind of like a black tactical looking case in the back, very grippy, very bulky. Uh, it definitely is not very uh, slim, uh, but if you want good protection, this definitely will give you that. In the front, it has a built-in screen protector. This is a two-part case, so the top will come off. You slide your phone in and then you put it back in. If you're looking for a good amount of protection, this can take care of that for you. Next, we got two cases from ESR, uh, let's take a look at this one. This is their kickstand series. I have seen these cases before also for iPhones. Uh, these actually are very popular. I have recommended ESR several times in the past. Uh, their cases are very minimalist. You get very nice clear cases and some of them they offer this kickstand like this one. What's nice is the spring is really, really hard on this so you can actually set it at any angle you would like and then you can set it on the table. So that is really good. The other thing I wanna point out, and throughout the video, we're gonna be talking about this. This has this kind of like mesh pattern in the back of the case, even though it's clear. 
So what this will do if moisture or water get gets inside um, your um, your case, it's not gonna have that sticky watermark back of your phone. So next one is another ESR case. This is just a soft clear case. So this one is a simple shell. It's all plastic, very flexible. You have these air bubbles on the corners to try to distribute the weight a little bit in case if you drop this. It has that micro dot pattern in the back. All right, next we're gonna look at some cases from a sub case. So I have four cases, red, black, blue, and violet, I think that's the color. And they're all exactly the same, and I have the same thing for all three sizes, so I'm gonna be a little bit quick unboxing them. So these cases will come with these uh, belt clips, right? It is a two-part case, so this part will come out, this red piece that you will see. Your phone will go right underneath that, and then you can slide it right in. So it give you a really nice lip protection around the screen. In the back, around the back and side, this is all plastic, and I don't know if this is aluminum or plastic. It looks like aluminum. Um, it feels, I guess, like aluminum. I'm not sure, but it definitely has that glossy look to it. As you can see, this part will open up and you can use it as a kickstand as well. And this comes in four colors. I'm just gonna pop them out of these boxes so you can see the colors real quickly. Okay, next, let's get to the cases. I went on Amazon and bought myself. I got, let's see, five different cases here. So this is a soft shell again. It's actually a very soft shell. The, the side all the way around is actually kind of like a matte finish, but the back is clear, but it has that micro dot pattern. So that definitely gets a plus from me. It has this built-in ring, which is a very interesting design. You don't often see this design, so that's an added benefit. You can use it for holding the phone, so it'll feel a little bit more secure. You can also use it as a stand. The downside of it is, I guess when you have this, probably you won't be able to wirelessly charge your phone. So that's the downside of it, so just keep that in mind. This is, oh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this. So this is a basic shell. It's not as flexible, so it's a little bit sturdier than the, um, the last case we looked at. The back is uh, super clear without having that micro dot pattern, so that's one downside. Uh, but it's like I said, it's a very, very basic shell. This case is oh, softer. I don't know how to come up with these names. All right, interesting. So this is, again, a soft, kind of like a silicon case. What I like about this right away, I will tell you, uh, even though the case itself is fairly slim and simple, but it has these beefy um, corners around the case. Having these beefy corners, I'm a huge fan of. So, And it has that, that micro pattern mesh in the background. So... I like this one. Okay. So this is, looks like a two part case. It is a little bit beefier, so it's not as slim, but it doesn't look bulky, which is an interesting, I don't know how to describe it, uh, but this, this piece inside will come out and then you slide, you put that on top of your screen and then you would slide it right in like that. Uh, this one also has that micro dot uh, pattern dot in the back. If you got any questions, you can drop a comment down below. So this last one, this feels good. Um, so again, another simple simple shell. Uh, what's interesting is the sides, this trim right here, it has that micro dot pattern, but the back does not. I, like I said, I personally don't like it. You may not have had any issues with those uh, clear cases in the back. Uh, in, in the past, uh, but this actually feels very sturdy, which I do like. You have a couple of these air bubbles around the corners, so which will help with distributing the weight if you drop it on one of its sides. So, all right, let's get to 
S21 Plus. Same thing, we're gonna start with the uh, free cases that was sent to me. First one is Xenon. Uh, this is kind of like a tactical look. You have the screen protection on the front. So this is a two part case. The top will come off and then the phone will be sandwiched inside. Um, it is very, very grippy. So if you want, um, if you don't want a subtle clear case, this is actually not that bad. Next we get to ESR cases. And by the way, I do have some other accessories from ESR. I will show you guys uh, in a minute. These are lens protector and screen protector I have. So if you have already watched the S21 cases, this is gonna be identical to those. It's just a larger size. So this is ESR's very, very basic shell, very soft shell, single air bubble on each corner. And um, the back has that micro dot pattern, which helps with moisture management. So the phone doesn't look sticky and yucky in the back. And this is the ESR kickstand. So it's a similar case, except it has a built-in kickstand. There you go. So you have the micro dot pattern in the back. You have a single air bubble on each of the corners. You have an interesting, I kind of like, how they do like little things about their design to make it um, uh, make their cases look interesting. Very modern looking, I like that. And the kickstand obviously is just a kickstand and you can use it to set it wherever you like. Next, we're gonna get to these four cases by Subcase. They're identical, they come with a belt clip. You get them in black, blue, red, and violet. Here it is, this by all means is not uh, a slim case. This is probably the bulkiest of all cases I have here. So this is a two part case. So this shell will come out. You slide the phone inside and then you uh, push it right inside. Uh, you can use it without the clip. You don't have to, but it comes with a belt clip and very, very, very beefy. There you have it, guys. Oh, I forgot to mention. They have these uh, kickstands that will pop right out. How do you say this? Base rook. Base rook. Basic shell. It has this kind of like cut cut out design at the bottom. Other than that, it's just a basic shell. No air bubbles on the corners. The only downside of it, honestly, is while the back is crystal clear, it doesn't have that micro dot pattern in the back to help with moisture management a little bit. Next, this is, I don't know what this is. All right, so this is that case again. I had this for S21 size as well. It's a basic clear shell. It has that micro dot pattern and it has these beefy, beefy corners on all four sides, which I'm personally a, a, a fan of, so I'm not sure if, um, if you care for a look like this or not. This is Kitayo. This is nice. So it's very, very soft, like really, really soft, right? So that kind of like tells you a little bit about the thickness potentially, but it has these very, <clears throat> excuse me, subtle raised lips around this case, as well as three uh, kind of like air bubbles. And it has, the back has that little bit of that micro dot pattern for moisture management. And this is not that bad. So um, it's a very, very unique design with the corner. So it's definitely beefier corner protection and it's still, looks and feels very slim and simple. Don't forget, if you haven't had a chance to like this video, it takes a long time to put these videos together, to edit them, and um, that's the biggest help you can give me. And if you're interested in, in entering the drawing, like and subscribe, comment down below, and send me a DM on Instagram, say Galaxy S21. This is, again, another case. Is this duplicate? <laughs> so, you know how they sell um, these cases on Alibaba and different brands that will buy them and resell them under different names. So, look at these two cases. Two different companies selling the exact same case. So, this is the one with big beefy corners. This is a softer. Strange names. Oh, wow. 
third case identical so three companies selling the exact same case so uh, take a look at the links whichever is cheaper obviously you can get that one so okay so it comes with a foldable kind of like a phone stand universal phone stand so this one has an interesting pattern around uh, the sides of it. Looks, it's almost like weaved inside, but it feels soft on the outside, but looks like the pattern inside. It could help, I guess, potentially with um, drop protection. It would absorb and distribute the, the impact a little bit better. But besides that, it's a very simple case. It's crystal clear and it doesn't have the micro dot pattern in the back. So, all right, getting into S21 Ultra. For S21 Ultra, again, we're going to start with the free cases that was sent to me. The first one is by Clayco. This is Xenon. It's in black. So this is a two-part case. So if you want something a little bit of a tactical look, black, you have this. So this is the outer shell. And then this is the inner shell, which also has a screen protector. So this goes on your phone and then you will just clamp and sandwich is inside. Um, we got two cases by ESR. This is the clear case without a kickstand. Obviously we're in the ultra territory and that's where you get this massive camera opening. So this is a super, super soft shell. And it's a very, very basic, as basic as it can get. A uh, couple benefits of it. You do have these micro dot pattern in the back. Real quick, these micro dots will help with moisture management. So if water or moisture gets inside it, your phone is not gonna have that sticky water look on the back of it. So that's the benefit. The second benefit of this one is it has a single air bubble on each of the sides to help with um, drop protection a little bit. If you are worried about your camera lenses, ESR also has sent me some samples of their lens covers. We're gonna take a look at that after we finish the cases. <clears throat> and this is their clear case with a kickstand. Again, big fan of ESR cases. This is very simple, soft shell. You do have a kickstand. Obviously, we know how a kickstand works. What's nice is it's built in to the case. And you do have these micro dot pattern in the back and a single air bubble protection on each of the corners. So it's the previous case we looked at. It just has this added kickstand built in to the phone. Next, we're going to get to these four cases by Subcase. These are identical. These are the beefiest of all cases I have in my possession right now for the Galaxy series. They come with this monster uh, belt clip. And this is in blue. So there you have it. K Tayo. I think I did open up a K Tayo case for the S21 Plus, but this is the Ultra. So this is, oh, I remember this. This is the one that has that has that very interesting corner. So the corners are raised on all four sides, but it's very, very subtle and you have to look fairly close to it to try to uh, notice it. I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not. And it has three air bubbles on each side. And besides that, it's a very simple case. It does have this micro dot pattern in the back. This is, I D will okay so this is a two-part case this shell obviously will come out to try to give a little bit more protection from the side it is not as slim as some of the other cases but it because it's clear it doesn't make it look very bulky there you go so you put this on your phone and then you would clamp it and push it inside. So this one does have the micro dot pattern in the back. Um, you probably have heard this a thousand times from me, but that is for moisture management. So your phone doesn't have that sticky wet look in case if uh, water gets inside or a little bit of a moisture. Bizarre names. All right, so this is, again, a basic shell. Actually, this isn't bad. Um, so it's a little bit harder. The downside of it is it doesn't have that micro dot um, um, pattern in the back. The camera is raised a little bit. You do get a couple of air bubbles on each of the corners. Very, very basic shell. Uh, this one does not have, well, what's interesting is just a couple of things to point out. This side is thicker than this side right here. 
But besides that, it's very simple and does not have that micro dot pattern in the back. Just gonna keep that in mind. All right, so this is, uh, oh, you know what? This one does the same thing. So maybe all of them, they have that design that the size because of the curved, little bit of curved edge, this side is thinner than the top. So this one real quick does have that micro dot pattern, beefy corner. So not a bad case. This is rest two basic shell, very basic shell. This one, so crystal clear back. It doesn't have the micro dot pattern, which again, I'm not a big fan of. It does provide some corner protection on the sides. you got a couple of air bubbles, but besides that, very, very basic uh, case. So, so this one we looked at uh, again, another case by what brand was this? So micro dot pattern check. Um, you have a frosted uh, rim around, which is interesting. Uh, it's a it's a different look. Um, this doesn't look bad. Uh, it is very very soft. It has a built-in ring, but you can use them as a kickstand. The downside of it is, keep in mind, if you have this, probably you cannot wireless charge. The relentless pursuit of perfection. Well, let's see how true that is. Okay. Another two-part case, and if I'm not mistaken, this is identical to the first one I looked at. Oh my God, where was it? <laughs> Again, another identical case. Victim of Alibaba. So uh, this was, I think, one of the first one we looked at. So it is very, very beefy. Um, it's not that flexible because of the harder shell inside that goes around uh, your phone and then you slide that in. It does have the micro dot pattern in the back. As I promised, I have a few more accessories from ESR I wanted to show you. So they have some uh, clear cases, liquid skin, full coverage screen protector. They have them available for all three sizes. So, so shout out to ESR for sending these over. But uh, I want to take a look at these camera lens protectors real quick. So you get two of these. So it looks like this does not protect, does, does this go over the lenses or it just goes around it? Looks like it just goes around it. So um, anyways, if you're interested in entering the drawing, uh, don't forget to send me a DM on Instagram and drop a comment down below. Let me know you're interested in entering the drawing. All right guys, so this was it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a like. It takes a long time to try to put these videos together. And by the way, depending on how well this video will do in the first two weeks, uh, I may go ahead do a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. So if you would like to participate, make sure you have subscribed, like this video, drop a comment down below and send me a DM in my Instagram uh, page just right galaxy s21 and i know you would like to enter into this drawing as always if you have any feedback for me how i can improve my content or if you got any questions or if i gave any wrong information as always drop a comment down below i'll do my best to try to answer as many of them as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one